For any Xbox or PlayStation codes or cheap games on any platform, use the referral link in the description. It'll take you to G2A.com. Use the promo code CHEZ over there and you'll get yourself 3% cash back. For all No Identity merchandise, hats, hoodies and t-shirts, follow the link in the description down below to the No Identity Fan Fiber website. Hey guys, welcome to episode number 10 of season 3 here at Chelsea. We start with a very difficult game at home against Manchester City, a side that are around about us in the Premier League. They're only four points behind despite being down in fifth. So the gap between first and second is the same as the gap between uh, second and fifth. So there's very tight race for those uh, Champions League spots. But of course, we're not aiming to finish just top four. We're aiming to finish top of the league again if we possibly can. Both ourselves and Manchester City, including Spurs, are remaining unbeaten at this stage of the season. Will that change? Well, before the end of today's episode, before the end of today's first game, we'll find out Ajax in between this game and the one against Watford at the end of the episode. So, fingers crossed we can get some good performances. Another win in the Champions League, and that should be us confirmed as through to the next round at this early stage, which would be nice. Would mean we can rotate the squad a little bit more and give the youngsters a little bit more of an outing in games that aren't necessarily just in the Carabao Cup. But we'll start with the game against City. We've struggled against the better teams so far this year. So... I don't know how it's going to go. We'll find out. Hit the thumbs up button if you enjoy the video. Subscribe to the channel too to make sure you don't miss out on any more from the channel. But without any further ado, let's jump in. See if we can take on Manchester City at home. Joe Hart back in goal for City here. New signings this season. Marco Asensio, worth £90 million apparently. And Jordi Alba starting at left back as well. Musacchio in the defensive lineup. 2-5 of the back for City as normal. Really strong side as per usual against City. We'll have to wait and see who comes out on top. Corner for City after just two minutes. Naby Keita picks it up off De Bruyne there. And that will be another corner as we've forced them out of play again. But for a second time, they'll go short. Naby Keita has got great dribbling. But Tony Cruz for a second time, comes out on top. Can't he will sweep this forward here to Morata. And there's a lot of space here for Charlie Musona to run into. And I will look to run into it. Racing away here. Musacchio doing well to stay with me. But Charlie Musonda, did Joe Hart get something on that? I think he did. It's now a caller for me at the other end. Hazard whips it. Underneath it is Laporte. In off the underside of the bar. Chelsea lead by a goal to nil after just five minutes. We've got the best goal scoring record in the league. They've got the best defensive record in the league. So how this game will pan out over the course of 90 minutes, I'm not sure. But look at the way the fans are leaping over the seats. It's a great way to take the lead. Really good head up. Joe Hart very nearly onto it. It did cross the line first time round. Then bounces just over the line, back up. Carl Walker reacts here to try and head it away, but it's already got across the line. Hits him on the back of the head and goes further into the net. We lead by goal to nil very early on. The perfect start. Sergio Aguero. Up to Marco Asensio. Nicely tackled by Tony Cruz, though. Quite comfortably tackled by Cruz. And Tony Musonda could be in behind again. Uh, I don't know which way to go here. The five at the back are always difficult to play against, especially when... The five at the back include players like Giorgio Chiellini, but Tony Cruz is rushing through here, and we might find him, we have done, but Joe Hart, let's call him Tony Hart then, Joe Hart with a good save, and we'll have another corner. Hazard to whip it for a second time. Another decent delivery, but Asensio heads away, and they'll clear their lines properly. That's a great ball by Kyle Walker into Sergio Aguero. Thankfully, Thibaut's there with a good save. Narrowed the angle well there. Courtois keeping us 1-0 in front for now. A short corner to Naby Keita again. It didn't work in the opening few moments. Will it work this time? They've at least gotten the ball played about a little bit better than they did previously. Gabriel Jesus draws another good save out of Thibaut. Still 1-0. They're going to whip this one right into the box. No, they are still going to go short by the looks of things. Kevin De Bruyne perhaps to go short here. Does so to Marco Asensio. That's a good turn. I thought he was going to turn onto his left. He didn't. The cross deflected. It drops to Aguero. Pereira with him. Christensen trying to get the block in, but Courtois had to be called upon yet again. The Belgian keeping me in it here. Sensio drilled there to Gabriel Jesus, but will intercept. Musonda forward there to Morata. Will look to play through Hazard. Oh, and it's reached him. Eden Hazard to make it two. Oh, emphatic finish. No mistake from the Belgian. We lead by two goals to nil here. City cut apart. Probably for the first time, to be fair. Their defenders have been so good. Oh, so good. Chiellini, very unlike him to rashly dive into that there, but makes the mistake. And, he's, and Eden Hazard makes them pay for that mistake. We lead by two goals to nil on the half hour. Carl Walker down into Gabriel Jesus. He's got the pace to get away. And the speed defeat to turn. And Nebuchadnezzar pulls City back into it immediately after we've gone two goals in front. 
That didn't take long at all. You see, the two people there, number eight and uh, number 39, Keita and Asensio, just in so much space there that a midfield is just not tracking with them. And after they made a mistake and we punished them, we've done the same with the same result. Two goals to one now. Anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene. So Jaguero, he's got away from me there, Jesus, into Asensio, good footwork outside of the post. Just two minutes after they pulled one back, they very nearly equalised, they still could, Jordi Alba with the ball roll. Back here to Asensio, advantage played, Asensio stands it up into the middle, Aguero's shot is blocked. Now we'll look to come away on the counter-attack ourselves, this is turning into quite the humdinger of a match right now. Charlie Musonda will beat the defender to it, but his touch takes him straight into Matoma Sakio. Sergio Aguero finds Gabriel Jesus to Aguero again. Missed the tackle. Asensio made the run, but they've declined to use him this time around. Here's Sergio Aguero again. Gabriel Jesus out of his feet into Aguero again. Missed the tackle. Now be Keita. Ooh, get there! City had turned up at last. They didn't do anything until we went two goals up. And then all of a sudden, they found another gear. 2-2 two -two with five minutes to go till half-time. Let's go into Eden Hazard. I'll wait to Alexandro and look for Morata here and then try and knock that there to Eden Hazard. He's opened up the face of his body well. He's in behind here. Dropped the shoulder on Kyle Walker. Can we immediately go back in front? No, Joe Hart with a good save. Jordi Alba heads away. Tony Cruz in the battle of uh, strength and pace with Marco Asensio. It's the strength that wins out over the pace. Kante. Hazard is there again, but that's Morata. See the number of Man City players in the way and Isco just didn't read the pass, unfortunately. We're going to go in at the break, unless they score on this counter-attack. We're going to... They might do, actually. We're going to go in at the break with a scoreline at 2-2. Sergio Aguero is just too tricky for me at the present. He's Carl Walker, but he's run straight into Alexandro. It will be 2-2 at half-time. Hazard around the corner to Alexandro. I'm going to drive into this space left open by Carl Walker. And I've got the angle to shoot, but not the angle with the shot itself. Two and a half minutes into the second half, Alexandro very, very, very nearly gives us our lead back again. Aguero forcing him wide. Jordi Alba obviously loves to get there on the overlap, but Sergio Aguero further down the line. Back to the Spaniard. And to the Argentine. Somehow able to shrug off the attentions of the defender. Jesus into Asensio and Courtois makes the most important stop. Of this season so far, you feel, with the way this game has been going to this point. 22 minutes to go, it's still 2 2, but thanks in no small part to our goalkeeper, I have to be honest. There's Aguero. Back to De Bruyne, forward to Aguero again. Nice tackle by Americ Laporte. Can't say forward there into Eden Hazard. Charlie Musonda on the far side, and then look to come inside there, maybe play a reverse ball to Alvaro Morata, which has worked well. He's got the good angle, and Alvaro Morata punishes Manchester City yet again. It's 3 2 now. At last, we're back in front. All I've got to do now is actually hold on to the lead this time around. Nice run by Charlie Musonda and a great reverse ball going back the other way for Morata to run onto to open up the angle so that he could get his foot right through it, past Otamendi and into the back of the net, past Joe Hart as well. Good goal. Can't take. Forward there to Cruz. Charlie Musonda able to get in behind Bernardo Silva, who for some reason they brought on at left back. Oh, get up! I don't know why they brought Bernardo Silva on at left back, but Hazard will stand this back into the middle. It's going to miss everybody and they'll bring it away. Oh, Masakio rides that tackle well. So they've got Masakio pushed forward at left mid and Bernardo Silva playing at left back. Not really too sure I understand the, uh, the mindset there from Pep Guardiola, but if it works, then fair play. Here is Bernardo Silva linking up with Matteo Masakio. That's actually a very good cross and Sergio Aguero, I think, got to that. He did ahead of Imeric Laporte, but heads wide. Gabriel Jesus going off now and coming on in his place is Coyote. Don't know who that is. There's the final whistle. That late-ish Alvaro Morata third. Sees us get three points here against City in a tireless game that didn't stop from first minute to last. They had more chances. So much possession, City. I didn't feel like they were that dominant with the ball, but evidently they were. We, though, were dominant with the scoreline and Spurs lost. Southampton 2, Tottenham 0. We close the gap at the top of the table to a single point. Up next, Ajax in the Champions League with a chance to all but confirm our progression through to the next round in this competition. Here's Van der Beek into Nuri. Oh, drill that wide here to Jonsson and the shot is well held by Brown. I have started a uh, rotation side here considering the state of the group but 
Ajax weren't exactly bad when we played them last, were they? We got a 4-3 victory, which was very hotly contested. But I'm hoping that wasn't meant for you, was it, Casey? It was meant for Tammy Abraham. But hopefully we can still get ourselves a good victory here in game number two against Ajax this year. Spin here with Nathan, try and get in behind with some acceleration. Then turn and look for a teammate. It's Bakayoko that's back here. Bit of space here for Ruben Loftus-Cheek to let fly. And Nathan will also do the same. And they will clear it away and prevent a corner. Good defensive work from... Oh, great touch there, Zappacosta. That's what I'm paying you the big bucks for. Oh, nil nil after 12 minutes. This move. There is. Across here to Van der Beek. Trying to close him down with Ruben Loftus cheek. Siek in there to Jonsson. Across to Van der Beek. Back to. Oh! Efforts off the post from Jonsson. So very nearly. 1 nil Ajax. We've got the other end and try and catch him on the counter. Well, he's strong, Tammy Abraham, but clearly not strong enough in that particular encounter. And that's the closest we've come to a goal so far in this one. Off the woodwork and back out again. Kiyoko, forward to Nathan. Tommy Abraham there. Turn on it. Get the ball inside here to Ruben Loftus cheek. Pedro's made a good run. He's only down at 80 rated now, Pedro, rather than 81. So he's actually dropped a further rating since agreeing the move to Everton. So uh, they're actually going to get a worse player than the player that they actually thought they were purchasing Everton. But that doesn't bother me. Tommy Abraham with a good shot. Well saved. Nathan will pull this back to Casey Palmer. And Lamprou with a comfortable save. Still nil-nil here just after the half hour mark. Both sides... Looking capable of scoring, but so far, no side actually doing so. Kyoko forward to Tammy Abraham. We'll go short there to River Loftus cheek. Pedro's made the run forward. We'll use Tammy again into Nathan. Now I'll drill it looking for Pedro. It's a good first touch. And he spun around the outside. Pedro, not long left in a Chelsea shirt for him, but he might be involved in a Chelsea goal here. Oh, come on, Nathan. He's just, I'm telling him to shoot. He's just stood there next to the ball and waited for it to spin towards him. If it actually attacked it like I wanted him to, that surely would have been 1-0. Looks like we're going to go in at the break with a scoreline at 0-0, unless I can score in this particular attack here. Tammy Abraham with the turn. He's done well, but tackled. Corner to come. Free kick to come on the edge of the box. Right, now who's got decent free kick stats? Pedro's are okay, I think. 81 curve, but no accuracy to speak of. Uh, let's give it to Nathan, then. He's got the highest free kick accuracy. Can you give us a 1-0 lead on the brink of half-time? I aimed over the middle of the wall. What is with free kicks on FIFA, man? They just don't do what you tell them to. 0-0 at half-time. Nuri. Nuri. Let's turn. Now McCreaney. Intercepted by Casey Palmer. Tammy Abraham looks to set Pedro away and then switches back the other way. And we'll look to send Nathan away instead because he's quicker. Nathan... Good, good footwork and a oh, really poor pass in a vital area from the young Brazilian. Needed to be better there and that certainly would have been 1-0 Chelsea. Bakayoko into Pedro, shows some strength here, he's done well. Pedro will let fly, it's well blocked by, uh, is it Matthias De Litt? I can't quite remember what his first name is, but good block there by the youngster regardless. And uh, 10 minutes into the second half, we will still stay goalless. Foyk into Neres. Strength from Bakayoko. Tammy Abraham around the corner looking for Nathan. It will reach him. It's a really good ball. Nathan looking to work his way past the defender, which he's done very well. I need to find a teammate. We've done that. Zappacosta. Oh, good finish from the right back. An unlikely goal scorer, but we will take it. It's been a difficult game here against Ajax. Again, this one a lot lower scoring than the previous. Seven goals in the first game against Ajax in the group stage at the Amsterdam Arena. Just the one so far after 63 minutes from our Italian right back. 64 minutes, in fact. Hopefully, that should be enough to guarantee a qualification through to the next round of the cup. Corner for Ajax. Ziek to whip it. And whip it he has done. Brown will punch. Pedro will look to get on the end of it and has done well, but runs straight into Nuri. So yeah, again, lofting it forward. We'll keep that in, hopefully, and stop them from getting a corner, which we've done well. I'll quickly look to get it away. Just knock back down there to Bakayoko. Pedro could look to spin, perhaps, and he's done well. Here's Tammy Abraham. Good first touch. Skips away from Viergeva, the defender. Tammy Abraham in a decent enough position. He's got an angle to shoot, but it's not the angle to score the goal, unfortunately. Good save by the keeper. Zuma forward into Loftus-Cheek. Little back heel here to Casey Palmer. There's Nathan. Tammy Abraham is there again. That's who that was intended for. But misplaced pass and possession lost. Barbier 
Kings that down gets there to Bakioka. Quickly around the corner to Nathan, who's now dropped into a central midfield position. Good touch by Tammy Abraham. He's got a very powerful shot. Proven there by knocking the keeper off his feet. But it's been a very tight game. I thought it was going to take too long there. It's been a very tight game here against Ajax again. But it's looking like we're going to be separated by a single goal for the second time. But just the one goal in this one, not the seven, as we've previously mentioned. That was terrible defending for me. I literally ran past the man that was in possession. Keeper will come and get that, though. There's only seconds to go in this game now. And this win, especially if Fiorentina have been able to get victory against Borussia Mönchengladbach, will mean that we will automatically qualify, even after just four games for the, the knockout stages of the Champions League. Tammy Abraham will look to accelerate away here, although he's not quite able to do it. I'll get the shot in. It's a good save down low by Lampu, but I won't try and force in a second opportunity here because time is uh, going to be running out for both sides and the referee will blow his final whistle. I will have that second opportunity, but the referee will blow his whistle. Now I'll probably put my controller down and not need to worry about it as the keeper takes his time, throws it out, and the final whistle goes. It's a two... That's a lie. It's a 1-0 victory here against Ajax. Now, did Fiorentina beat Borussia Mönchengladbach? If they did, then we are through. Dominating the game again, although they had more possession. Fiorentina lost to Borussia Mönchengladbach. That throws that second spot wide open again. Fiorentina are on four points. Borussia Mönchengladbach are now on four as well, I believe, with Ajax on still just the one or two. So that gives us a... Eight-point lead at the top with two games to go. So we're guaranteed top spot in the Champions League group already. But who will finish second? We're not sure. Can we, though, with this third and final game of the episode, go top of the Premier League? Fernando Maslera in goal for Watford. Etienne Capu and Nathaniel Chaloba starting in the holding roles. Amrabat Pereira and Richarlison, who's a very good, promising youngster, out on the left-hand side with Andre Gray. The pace of Andre Gray up top through the middle. We'll see what Watford can do here against us at Vicarage Road. Pereira tackled by Isco the in the offensive third. Cruz quickly to Charlie Musondo. He's actually grown up to 81 rated now, Charlie Musondo. So first team football regularly for him is helping improve his overall rating and overall game. But he still won't be in with a first team shout as soon as Dybala is back from injury. That is for sure. Morata. Oh, no. Don't start doing this again, please, Alvaro. His left foot was terrible. And then... The last six months of last season, he started banging them in with his left foot as well as his right. Let's not go back to the uh, shanking habits of the opening part of season number two, shall we, Alvaro? Let's start to uh, get back into the goal-scoring run of things, please. Around the corner there to Isco, quickly to Cruz, and then quickly again in here to Hazard, who's dropped the shoulder on the defender. How good's his left foot? Better than Maratas was a moment ago. Could save down low by the Uruguayan in goal, though. Even will whip with his right foot this time, and Laporte with a header, but... Simple save for Mislera again. Let's go forward to Hazard. Get it out wide here to Alexandro. Drive into the space, although nobody really helped to drive forward there. Oh, that's good footwork from Morata. Shot blocked, though. Win this please and go low. He's done very well there. Hazard. Actually, go to Morata through the gap. And help on to Charlie Musson. Hit it early. Good save by Mislera. Kind of straight at him, though, to be honest, unfortunately, rather than towards the corner. Hazard with the corner itself. Oh, what a header from Morata. Mislera underneath it and gets it away. This will drop to Alexandro. Find a bit of space, perhaps for a left-footed shot. No. I merit Laporte. Why not? He'll have a left-footed shot. Blocked and cleared away. Alexandro with the throw. I've let Isco run free. Don't want to let a play with that sort of creativity. Oh, that's a foul. Please, ref, thank you. We don't want to let a play with that sort of creativity uh, free from set pieces. But speaking of set pieces, let's see if Tony Cruz can give us a 1-0 lead from one. Try and get it over the wall. Oh, what a save. How has the keeper gotten to that? That was like postage stamp stuff in the top corner. That's one of the best free kicks I've taken. And that's also one of the best saves I've seen a keeper pull off from a free kick in FIFA. That is destined for the very, very, very top corner. World class from Fernando Maslera. I'd expect that of 92 Courtois. Not of the, uh, like, 84-rated Uruguayan. Wow. Here's Richarlison. Back to Masuaku. Richarlison again. Find out, Muslim. Oh, it's a great ball in. Alexandro gets it away. I can't believe the man in the middle, I think it was Roberto Pereira, didn't attack that. He would have had a simple tap-in if he had done, or at least an easier opportunity than his teammate had a man with his uh, attentions on his shoulder. 
I'm trying to get this across to Charlie Musonda if I can. And then quickly look forward there to Morata. We'll go across here to Hazard and then dart back inside. That's gone very well. Now, Morata, keep that run going. Keep it going, 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 keep it going. Not 1 0. Ah, fuck. I thought that was going to be it. Alexandre should outmuscle JJ and hasn't been able to. It wasn't even Alexandre, it was Charlie Musonda. That's why he couldn't outmuscle him. Oh, Watford walking on a fine wire right now, or a thin wire, because we are. Okay, hang on. It might be me that's walking on a tightrope at the back now. Decent delivery. I'm just going to head this home. Right, okay. Chances at both ends, but no goals yet. That's a great ball. We could have a goal now. Come on, Hazard. You're in behind. Eden! Oh! Isco! Isco! <laughs> Off the underside of the bar! Well, if you're going to make sure it goes in, put your foot straight through it and hit the woodwork. Hazard should have scored. Isco should have scored. Isco did score. Bang. Off the bottom of the bar into the back of the net. We do lead at last. Well, they've just left Eden Hazard in the open here. I'm going to drive away. Actually, just drop on his right. Oh, come on, Tez. How many chances do I need to put this game beyond Watford's reach? We've only gotten the one goal so far, but I've had so many really good chances I just haven't been able to take. And we're back. Forward into Roberto Pereira. Could turn. Doesn't. Somehow comes away with the ball and hits the woodwork. I don't quite know how he was able to get the opportunity in that particular instance. I thought I'd done enough defensively, but could play this over the top looking for Hazard. I don't fancy him in behind JJ there with the... Oh, never mind. It's going to be half-time with the scoreline at 1-0. Hazard with the corner. Five minutes into the second half. That's a poor one. Oh, it actually reaches Alexandra, though. Isco could turn and look for his second and our second, but Mislera saves. But we have gotten a penalty. Am I going to get a replay from that? Because I'd already gotten the shot off with Isco. I don't know whether he was just trying to block the shot and threw himself in front of me or an Isco landed on him because sometimes it gives penalties for that, weirdly. Or whether he actually caught Isco. Yeah, he's just tried to block the shot. He has wiped Isco out, but I don't know as I would have given that if I was a referee. Never mind. Eden Hazard steps up, up against Fernando Maslera. The chance to make it two and tucks it away nicely. It is Chelsea 2, Watford 0 at Vicarage Road right at the beginning of the second half. Hopefully, that will put the result to bed. Over into Pereira. He's turned and nutmegged and go Locante, but Kante still comes away with the ball. Hazard quickly up to Morata, out to Charlie Musonda. Oh, and the defenders missed it. Charlie Musonda now, surely, for three. Tucked away nicely. Had enough space and time there just to compose myself this time around. Ah, <sighs> there is the third. That it will be game. Kante, Musonda, nice out wide to Alexandro. Morata at the back post, who we will look for. Hit that. Ooh, keep that down, Alvaro. Keep it down. We're really starting to dominate now in this second half. We've had a couple of good performances in the third and final game of uh, episodes in the past couple of uh, days. Most notably that big win over Stoke. And we're on course, if we can keep this going, to get a decent-sized win here against Watford as well. Not that 3-0 is a result or scoreline to be scoffed at, but we do look like we're capable of scoring more. Hazard drops the shoulder. We'll look for Morata. Oh, off the woodwork. We very nearly did score more. Trying to squeeze it home underneath the keeper. But the upright in the way. Kind of prayer. I'll look for Hazard. Not sure whether that took a slight deflection. But Hazard's still driving forward. And Morata's in the way. And Hazard does make it four. Yep, we're on course for a really tidy victory here at Vicarage Road. Really tight first half, but pure dominance in the second 45. It's 4-0. Here's with Charlieson. Ricardo Pereira steps in. There's not much time left, but we could be in for a fifth. Defender again committing unnecessarily. Similar to Chiellini in the first game. We'll get it across here to Hazard. Oh, we aren't going to get a fifth, or at least not from that particular passage of play. I made those changes ages ago, but they've only just now come into fruition. And Oh dear, 50p head from Laporte. That was absolutely nowhere near the goal with that particular effort, but it's going to be a 4-0 victory here against Watford, which will hopefully, depending on what Tottenham do this weekend, put us top of the Premier League again. We will uh, jump through booze from the Vicarage, Ro Vicarage Road faithful, but that's to be expected. Oh, I didn't realise I was quite that dominant. I'm almost embarrassed that I only scored four. A 26 efforts against Watford. What oh, Spurs drew? We are going to go top. We are going to go top oh, against Everton as well. So not only the Spurs drop points, Everton drop points too. In fact, Everton are now dropped to fourth. Man United are up to third. 
And again, as has been the case with season one and two, it looks like at this early stage, a two horse race for the title. It's normally us and Man United. It looks for this year to be us and Tottenham. Although we can't write Man United off just yet. Watford yet to pick up a victory. Oh dear. Watford actually aren't having a very good season at all. Neither are Stoke, both of whom have taken big batterings from us this year. So perhaps no surprise that we've gotten the score lines against them that we have. Stoke have conceded 24 goals in 11 games. That's really rather embarrassing. We've scored 30 in 11 though, and yet to see defeat. The only side now to remain undefeated as Tottenham and Manchester City have taken defeats in today's episode. Everything's gone according to plan as far as I'm concerned. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel too to make sure you don't miss out on more. And I'll see you later.